My name is Dr. Daria Cornwall. I am the head of the Women's Imaging Center at the University Hospital of the West Indies. Today, we are going to be showing you how we do a mammogram. We'll be taking you through the steps. We encourage women, once they have reached the age of 40, to start doing their mammogram. And we encourage women to do this every year. This is women who have no history of cancer in their family, women who are well, women who don't feel any lumps in their breast, even if the breast feels normal, we encourage women to start doing their mammogram at the age of 40. Women who have cancer in their family, like breast cancer or ovarian cancer, may need to start doing their mammograms at an earlier age, like even 30. But women who don't have any cancer in their family, we encourage them to start doing their mammogram at the age of 40 and to do this every year. This practice of doing the mammogram every year would ensure that if at any point a cancer is present, we catch it early, very early. And we know that early detection gives the best possible chance for a cure. As a matter of fact, cancers caught early are even less costly to treat than cancers that are found late. Hey, good afternoon. How can I assist? I have a 2 o'clock appointment to get my mom around. Here. Let me see your suit. I'm seeing where you're a bit early, but what I'm going to ask you to do I'm going to ask you to have a seat, fill this form out, and I'll get your mammographer to be with you shortly. Thank you. Completed everything? Yes, sir. Let me just check. Have a seat for me. Your mammographer will be with you shortly. Okay. Yes. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Please follow me. How are you today? I'm a bit nervous you know, to tell you the truth. Oh dear, no need to be. Okay. After this, after we're finished, you would see that it wasn't anything to worry about. Did you wear any deodorant today? No, I didn't. I followed the instruction on the Very okay, good. Oh this is our change room. And you'll need to remove the top and the brassiere. I left a gown for you right here. Please put the gown on with the opening towards the back and I'll come back right here and get you. Okay, thank you. Sanitize your hands. And come and have a seat. Kindly have a seat on this chair. Be careful, the chair is on wheels. I read the questionnaire and you said that you had a mammogram before. That was quite some time now. I'm going to take at least four images, two of each breast. Because we examine both breasts in two different positions. And I'll guide you as I go along. I'll let you know what I'm doing and I'll tell you what I want you to do so that we can work together. Okay? okay. Any questions for me? the mammogram like two years ago somewhere else it was so painful and uh, right now I'm kind of wondering if I should do it still look women my fellow ladies I know that there's a myth out there or, or there's this saying that mammograms are painful and very uncomfortable let me debunk that and tell you straight up that mammograms done properly are not painful. Maybe just a little discomfort, but not painful mammograms done with the proper technique. So we encourage women to come and get their mammograms done and to choose a time in the month when the breast is not as tender, 
For example, do your mammograms after the menstrual period when the breast itself is less tender than before the period when the breast itself may be more tender. That may make the process a little more comfortable. And note that when we put the press under the paddle and compress the breast, it's only for a few seconds. Oops, and you're finished. Here we have this paddle that I call the smart paddle because it is curved. You notice it's curved? So it, it's curved like your chest. Okay. Right, and it's very comfortable. Very comfortable. It's much, much better than this one. Much better than this paddle. You notice? So most of the machines that you would have encountered would have had this one. But this one with the curve is much more comfortable than those. All right, so I'll start on the right side. Kindly come and stand in front of the machine. Stand here, face the machine this way. And you're going to slip the gown off just the right shoulder. Can you come closer? Closer. It's gonna be a bit cold because I just wipe it with alcohol. Okay. Okay. Put it right on. Put it on. Lean in. Turn your head towards your left. Relax the shoulder. Relax the shoulder. Very good. Relax the shoulder. Don't lean away. Very good. Very good. You're doing very well. Relax the arm. You're comfortable? Yes, I am. Okay, now I'm going to bring you across a bit. Relax, relax. And now compression is going to go on. Don't pull away, don't pull away. Compression going on now. Okay, how is that? That's comfortable. I'm not gonna give you any more compression. I'm gonna move the gowns in, in the way a bit. Put your hand this way. I'll bring the other breast up a bit. Good, very good. Try to relax the shoulder. And as soon as I go behind there and press, I'll ask you to stop breathing. Hold your breath. Hold the breath. Breathe. Very good. How was that? Well, it's far different from what I did before. Okay, cover up. Cover up. And come and have a seat. We're going to continue in a different position. The first one that you had was front. Now we're gonna do a sideways position. Okay, this is slightly more uncomfortable than the first. But you should be okay. So come and stand in front of the machine, face this way as well. And slip the gown off the right shoulder. Place your right hand behind your head. Very good. Step forward, forward, forward a little. Lean on the machine, mm -hmm. let go your head and hold on. How is that? You're it doing well? But I'm okay. Okay, all right. Bear with me. Bear with me, please. And compression going on now. Big breaths in and out. Big breaths in and out. Big breaths in and out. Bring your feet towards me a bit. Very good. Just a little more. Are you able to come take a little more? Good, very good. Give me a hand. Hold the other breast like this. Don't move. Turn your head away from me. Away. Chin up. Good. Listen for when I ask you to stop breathing. Stop your breath now. Don't breathe. Breathe. Very good. You did very well. Good. So after the mammogram is done, the radiologists 
we look at the images on our computer screens to check to see what abnormalities, if any, is there. Most of the mammograms are normal. A few of them may be abnormal. If we see any abnormality, we may call the woman back to have additional views or additional tests done. These tests include an ultrasound or even an MRI. When we do these additional tests, if we see abnormalities that needs to be sampled or to test to take a piece of the tissue, we order a biopsy to find out what it is that is happening in this area of the breast. So how was that? I was never about to get uncomfortable it finished. Good. So you think you can come back next year? Because you do this once a sure, year. Sure, Very good. The images that we have today, I think they're adequate. Um, I'm going to ask you to go back to the change room and get dressed. We are very aware that some women are fearful of the mammogram. Even if the process is not painful, even if it is the gentlest process on earth, some women are afraid because they say, what if cancer is found? If a cancer is found, the mammogram can help to find this cancer so early and the treatment that are available is so advanced that we can give you the best possible chance of a cure if you do the mammogram while your breasts are still feeling normal. Once you've reached the age of 40, we encourage every woman to go and get their mammogram done every year, even if the breast feels normal. Because what you want is to make sure that the breasts are normal for truth. To so every woman in the hearing of my voice, if you check your breasts out, check out your breasts. You reach 40, all right? Look at this. You know you don't have any lumps. You don't have any nipple discharge. You don't have any rash on the nipples or any discoloration or any orange peel look to the breast. Then you take those breasts to the mammogram place. Let us do the mammogram to make sure the breasts are normal for truth. So that if any cancer happens to be there, you catch the cancer early before you feel anything so that we can give you our fantastic treatment and get you cured and put cancer behind your back and you move on to live the rest of your life, which would be the best of your life. So we encourage you to do your mammogram. <laughs>